Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to share with you a couple of... What's that flying around? Oh, it's a dust bunny. <laughs> a dust bunny. I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I've been doing. And the first thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I've been doing with my hair. This was actually something I had read about, but I didn't realize it was available. And then it was actually suggested by one of you, my subscribers. So I absolutely love when you guys give me tips, when you give me, I don't mind criticism at all. I love constructive criticism. I don't like the negative stuff, but constructive criticism is really, I think, awesome. It helps me get better. I mean, I think it really helps everyone get better when that happens, but I'm always open for that. One of my subscribers, when we were talking, when I was talking about hey, and particularly had, had suggested that, and I put my glasses on, hold on, had suggested that the ordinary multi-peptide serum for hair density was out. And I did not know. I knew that they were coming out with one, but I did not know that it was out. And the directions here is apply a few drops as needed once daily, ideally at bedtime, to clean dry scalp. Massage into scalp thoroughly. This formula is a leave-in treatment. Do not wash hair or scalp after application. I knew that the Ordinary and Dusty M, and I know they have another hair product as well, but I knew they were working on a hair serum. I didn't know it was out. And when, when my subscriber said, yes, it was out, and she was using it, I should look into it. So I did, I ordered it, and it arrived. I've only been using it probably for about a week, week and a half. So it is way, way too soon for me to tell anything at all. It doesn't leave my hair oily. I really like that factor, and I've been trying to figure out the best mix for using this in conjunction with my Nutriox Serum, because I really like the Nutriox Serum. I was using the Equate Hair Regrowth. I believe these two products, they're in my opinion, what they've done, what this has done for me is to help stop the hair fallout. Not stop it completely, but to slow it way down. So my shower hair, you know, the hair that you see at the bottom of the shower, greatly improved since I've been using this. And I also still derma roll the, my scalp area, the, the areas that I'm really concerned with, usually just once a week, but when I've been camping, I wasn't doing it, but usually just once a week. I don't shampoo my hair every night, so it's like every three days. So once a week, I will derma roll, and what I've been doing immediately thereafter, I've been putting on the Nutriox Serum and massaging that in. Now, what I've been doing is using the Ordinary Serum at night, and the Nutriox during the day. I think they work fine together. I've had no reaction. Obviously, if you're looking at doing any of this, check it out yourself. Make sure you're comfortable with it. But I'm still, this is for the hair regrowth. This is the Equate version of, and yes, this is the Men's Rogaine, the Equate version of it anyways. I haven't been using this as much as I have this, so I'm trying to figure out what is the perfect blend, the perfect formula for me to actually use all three of these. Thank you so much for the suggestion on this. I am enjoying it so far. I can't tell you that I've noticed any kind of a difference whatsoever, although I do think overall my hair is far better than it was. Is, is it the Nutriox? I believe it's the combination of the Nutriox. I believe it's a combination of the Derma Rolling. I just use the um, 0.25 on my roller. It's just enough to maybe sink the products in a little bit deeper. It doesn't go deep at all. I don't push, I don't drop lead. I, do, I don't do anything really super crazy at all like that. But I do think a lot of the treatments have really helped my hair overall get into a more healthier, better position. And I, and I mean, I color my hair. You know, I go to my hairdressers and, and um, you know, I get my roots done. I, I get um, low lights, highlights, you know, all that wonderful stuff. So I've been doing that. The other thing that I ended up buying, I, and I'm a fan of the Ordinary products. I really am. I do like their products a lot. So I wanted to try their sunscreen. This is the Mineral UV Filters the SPF 30. It's got like a little bit of a, a white comes off, it comes out really quick, so you gotta be really careful. It has like a little bit of a white cast to it that after it, it absorbs into my skin, that, that does kind of dissipate, but 
What doesn't dissipate that readily for me <laughs> is the god-awful smell. I cannot stomach the smell. Have any of you tried this? I mean, what is up with the smell? It's like, it's like, um, it almost smells like pl wet plaster or, you know, wet chalk. I, I just, I can't stomach the smell, so I can't, it's for faces. I cannot put this on my face. This is like an epic, epic fail. I don't even know how this works with makeup because I couldn't get beyond the smell. I had to wash it off. But I just wanted to show you. It has, I don't know if this is showing at all or what, but it has really gone and sunk into my skin. But this is like, nah. This is not cutting it for me at all whatsoever. So that, that was a huge fail. I am also trying this product that was sent to me, Hand MD Daily Dual Repair. I've been using this tomorrow, Wednesday, the... 11th will be two weeks. I've been using this every day. I had Jay take pictures of my hands before I started to use it. I also showed them in a video so that at one point I'll be able to do the before and after. But this is a dual chamber. I love the ingredients. I absolutely love the ingredients of this hand MD. It is, it is on the pricier side, but if something really works for your hands, I'd be game. One side is the serum and you literally put it on a drop and then you take your hands and you just kind of put it together. I've seen a few other people talk about this and then after that sinks in you take the cream, the moisturizer part and you do the same thing and then you can put it on your hands. All I can tell you at this point in time, this is I think supposed to last for eight weeks, we'll see. But at this point in time, I am liking it a lot. However, I cannot tell you, I'm gonna let you be the judge, just like on my Retin-A video. When I'm done, I'm gonna show you from my before to my ultimate afters. But I wanted to let you know that this is what I've been doing for my hands. I wish I could find some magic for the neck. My neck, I'm still using my rosehip seed oil and I mix it with my weakest Retin-A and I go down once a day. And other than that, I just use whatever cream on my neck that I, that I have. You know, no, no magic neck formula that I have found at all. On my eyes, I'm still using my Timeless eye cream. I have been looking at some other eye creams. I haven't pulled the trigger on them yet, so I'm not too sure. But I am using my Timeless at this point in time and I really, I like my Timeless. I am using the Olay Pro Retinol twice a day. When that sinks in, when that dries in, right before bed, this goes on my eyes. And I really, really like it. During the day, if my eyes get super dry, I end up putting my squalene oil. I have a little bit in a like rolly bottle that I bought on Amazon that I bring to work. And I just kind of touch up where it's like really dry. So the other thing I wanted to share with you, because I'm like, I think this was L for Living that I had first heard of this. I had no clue that Sephora does classes. Did you? I did not. And I, I need all the help I can get. Now many of you ask me, geez, can you do a get ready with me? Well, I'm kind of embarrassed to do a get ready with me because my the way I apply my I'm not good with it so I'm like going how can I share eyes I don't know I don't blend that great I'm not I'm just not that great with my eye makeup or maybe even my face makeup you know what I mean I'm not like I really don't really know yet what I'm doing so when Elle when she had talked about a Sephora class I'm pretty sure it was her I hope it was her. When she talked about a, a Sephora class, I went and I checked out my Sephora and darn it, they have classes. So tomorrow night, and I think this is gonna be probably going public tomorrow night as well. But tomorrow night, while when this gets public, um, I will be in a class in Sephora. Now they have a class on smoky eyes, but I couldn't get into that one because it's during the day. So I'm hoping the next time they schedule it will be a six o'clock class. But tomorrow night I'm actually going to learn contouring. So I'm like super excited. They said, come without your makeup. I'm like, uh-uh, I said, I'm coming from work. So I guess I have to strip off my makeup. And then they, I don't know, they, I have no idea what to expect, but I'm really excited. I hope I learned something because I have no idea how to contour my face. I know though that I don't want to have a contour that, you know how like like a, a, a white bump on your nose or a white, I don't, I mean I don't want to be, I'm too old for that kind of stuff. I just want to have like a subtle 
subtle contour and I don't need much highlighter because my skin shines <laughs> anyways but so I'm really excited about that I know I'm babbling but that's tomorrow night so I think that is really really cool and so hang on because now I'm going to share an other thing that I'm super excited about This is Danielle, and this is in the color of 14H. 14H is a dark blonde with lighter wheat highlights. I do, I mean, there's a lot of highlights in this. This is a little bit shiny, but not a whole lot. I haven't done much of anything with this. We saved it before we went on vacation, and I just kind of like let it, I put it on like one of those wig stands and I just kind of like let it kind of relax a little bit because you know when the wigs come they're kind of like wound up and stuffed and they're in a little netting and so sometimes they can be a little bit a little bit tight I don't know yeah so I don't know what do you what do you guys think you like this on me I like the color I like the highlights I like how it fits I like sort of the the messier look on the bottom as far as I don't like the tight flip so it does tend to flip and it's probably because it sits on my shoulders but the length is actually not that much different than my own at all so i think that's pretty that's pretty good i can tuck it behind my ears which is what i normally would do so i think that's that's pretty cool i can also pull it into a ponytail just so you can see so I could pull it and I could put it into a ponytail. I could, um, you know, clip it up with a, a claw clip of some sorts if I really wanted to. Let me show you the, the crown. My ear tabs are right here. <laughs> this is Henry Magoo. This is Danielle in the shade 14H. I'm gonna link all the information below. I really am liking this look a lot. So you let me know if you think this is a good look for me. They had. They had another one that I really wanted to get, and then I was sort of hemming and hawing uh, between the two, and I was also debating whether to go dark, or, and you know, maybe that'll be something I'll end up doing too, I don't know, but, so, one more spin, and then I'll take you outside. So when I went outside, it wasn't tonight, it was the other day during the weekend. I actually had filmed this video before but then I had an epic mic failure. <laughs> it's not like par for the course, you know, and an epic mic failure. But and so then I just figured I would be redo this. So let me know what you think. I love it. So anyways, I just wanted to show you the way she actually looks not on my head. You can see that it's a very light wefting and I think that makes it extremely comfortable to wear. And that's probably the capitalist feature. I'm gonna turn it inside out so you can see. Here is the the tightener, the little, and I tightened it so she would fit better on me. You can still see the length of hair. And here's the front. I think this capless construction is very, very nice. Makes for a very comfortable, flowy fit. Again, this is Henry Margu. And this is Danielle. Hopefully this will pick it up in 14H. And the more I played with this, the more I put it on, the more it's like grown on me. So thanks so much for watching guys. I just wanted to share this with you because I really like this wig a lot. And for those of you that are looking at wigs, this is definitely maybe a name or you know for sure the brand that you might want to entertain for a week. I like it a lot. So thanks so much guys and I will catch you on my next video. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate your support, your thumbs up and comments. Bye guys.